Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, I, everybody always says, oh, pinch your coleus, remove the flower spikes. And you know what? I agree if you want your plants to be full and bushy and you want to enjoy more of the foliage. But seriously, look at how pretty. I mean, certain varieties of coleus have actually pretty flowers. They're, they're not as tiny as some other varieties, let's say. A lot of the seed varieties I noticed, the flowers are tiny and the spikes are long. But this one is, I'm not sure if this is Inferno, it wasn't labeled when I got it. Um, but you can see that so much, um, you know, crossbreeding has taken place for the leaves, but the flowers also are larger and they're really kind of pretty. I, once in a while I like to, to let my, my coleus bloom and not just so I can get seeds from them, but because they're really pretty and they're easy to get to bloom. If you give them enough light, they'll start blooming. And people say, oh, they decline after they bloom. I have never had a coleus decline after it blooms. That branch will decline, the flower spike will decline when it's preparing to make seeds, but then another branch will come out. And then if that has enough light, that branch will bloom. And the same thing will happen all around. So the plant doesn't die. These are considered perennials in tropical areas. So they live two plus years, at least two years, more than two years. I have some that have lived a long time and they're very woody like little shrubs. Um, of course they're indoors because I'm in the uh, northeast, but I think that uh, why not have some pretty flowers if you want. Um, again, not all of them look as pretty, but I, I also like the contrast of the purplish blue against the deep like coppery red. It just, I don't know, it's really cool. But yeah, if you, first of all, if you want seeds and obviously you're gonna let your coleus bloom, but if you just wanna have flowers all throughout the year, bring your coleus indoors, give them enough light, and um, not only will the light give you beautiful vibrant leaf colors like this, but it'll also spark the pr production of flowers. So I think that it's a really pretty thing. I know that, you know, most people say, cut it off so it bushes out. Well, you know what? I kind of like it the way it is, and I'm going to leave it like this. And, you know, I'll take the seeds. But uh, if I don't want it to produce flowers, I'll just remove it from directly under the light. That's what I've noticed. If Like these, all these coleus here, they're not blooming. These are in a vegetative uh, process right now. I don't have them directly under lights because they were recently trans, um, transferred to lava rock or whatever growing medium they're in, and I didn't want them to put any energy into flowers. So I have them far enough away from this light up here. You can see it goes all the way down. Uh, so they're not trying to, to make flowers. Um, this one was directly under an LED grow light, which is like a, a pink magenta kind of color. And it just went right into, well, it, it did the beautiful color in the leaves, but it went right to flower production. So um, just a little tip uh, and something pretty, I think, if you want to have some unique, pretty flowers in the house or at the windowsill all year, I think that coleus, even though they're not flashy, big, beautiful like orchids or anything, I think that it's a, it's a cool compliment, you know? Um... I would say you could take them and use them as cut flowers, but they'll just root in the water. <laughs> then, yeah, uh, I'd say keep them on the plant. Once the seeds are done, I will cut it off, but the plant will remain and will continue to grow. And if I keep it under the light, like I said, it will continue to make flowers for us. So, I don't know. I like it. Just want to share it. Um, I know everybody has seen these, and they, they kind of pick them off, and they're like, oh, it's blooming. But just look at the beauty of this, you know? Let's, let's get out of our own selfish heads about the leaves and just look at the beauty of the natural progression of the plant. I just think it's really cool. Anyway, and again, you can control it. So any questions, leave them in the comments below. And um, as always, thanks for watching. Thanks for stopping by if you're new. If you haven't subscribed, please do. Share uh, with your friends. Hit the bell if you want to be notified. And I will see you in the next video.